No freaking way. That is so sick. And then there's an eco mode. Ooh, eco mode, let me try that. It's getting quite toasty now. We are on super mode, mind you. And yeah, I think the utility of this thing is great for being a heater. I actually wanna do a week-long hash rate giveaway. Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, I just received the Avalon Mini Three. This is a new product from Canon, and I am gonna do a simple unboxing today, essentially of a new Bitcoin mining heater, which does 37.5 terahash at around 800 watts, and I will verify that at the wall using 120 volt. We will try that later on in this video. Thank you, Canon, for sending me the Mini 3 here. They also sent me the new Avalon Nano 3S, which I will unbox in another video. I know these things have been very popular, but we'll do that in another video. Okay, real quick. I just want to showcase the box. So in the front, this is what it looks like, Avalon Mini 3. On the side of the box, it looks like we got some specifications here, showing the name, the dimensions, also the weight, as you guys can see. And then here is the back, okay? So it's just essentially a picture of the Mini 3, which basically looks like a baseboard heater. All right, let me just quickly unbox it for you all. You'll see it on a table right now. Okay, it came in another box actually. Wow, this is actually pretty nice. Just to show you guys the box that it came in like this and then it's now wrapped in another box. It's like opening up an Apple product. Okay, just switching it around here. Yeah, it's the same stuff on the back of the box. Okay, let's just unbox it now and see what this thing looks like in the flesh here. Okay, so first thing, oh, it looks like we have Guessing this is the manual and such. Okay, and there's there's nothing in here. That's okay. Nothing on that side. We got something here called Wi-Fi receiver. Okay, I'm assuming looks like I can just peel this. Is that is the Wi? Oh yeah, the Wi-Fi receiver is right here. It's a little USB. Yes, USB Wi-Fi adapter. That is cool. Okay, I'm gonna place that right here for now. Okay, let's take out the top part here and this side of the foam here. Really nice presentation here by uh, Canon here for the Mini 3. Really nice packaging, I have to say. Okay, here's the unit itself. And first thing I notice is, oh, it's pretty heavy. Okay, I'm gonna need two hands for this. Okay, let me uh, take it out of the box. Okay, here it is. There it is, guys, look at this. The Avalon Mini 3, wow. This thing definitely looks like a baseboard heater. And is this like a soft touch power button? We'll see in a second. I did see the power cable inside at the bottom. Okay, so underneath the Avalon Mini 3, there is a power cable box. Take that out here. And what kind of power cable does this thing use? <laughs> of course, it looks like one of these MacBook Apple power cable color, that looks really cool. Typical 120 volt power cable. Okay, let's just inspect around this thing here, okay? So this side, nothing here, no IO or anything on this side. Okay, let's swap it around. This thing's actually decently heavy. It's pretty hefty. On the back here, there's no IO. I wonder if this is another soft touch button here. We'll see in a second, but there's nothing on the back here. Let's look on this side and there is nothing on here. Okay, so now let's look at the top. It's nice and covered here. So all the Bitcoin mining heat is coming from this part here, which pretty much mimics a baseboard heater. Okay, let me just uh, put it like this and we'll see what this thing looks like underneath. Okay, so we have the Looks like a fan filter here. This is where the air is gonna come through, through the bottom. And then over here, yes, this is where we got some of the IO here. So I do see a USB port right there. I think that's where we're gonna put the USB Wi-Fi adapter. And then looks like we have a power button right here and also the input for the power cable. And looks like there's a locking mechanism for the uh, power cable as well, which is pretty cool. So that's a nice touch. Okay, looks like we have a, uh, there is a button here. I'm assuming that is a reset button. It's kind of recessed inside. Looks like we need a paper clip for that, but yeah. USB, okay, power, that's it. That's all the IO that this Mini 3 has. Okay, well, without further ado, let's plug this thing in. Okay, let me get the power cable here. And this is an angled power cable so that it goes, the cable goes throughout the back, which is a nice touch. 
Okay, and I'm assuming this, I can go like this. Is this what it, a locking? Yeah, there you go, it locks in like that. That's pretty nice. Then there's the USB, which uh, I'm gonna plug in right away. And apparently you can use a ethernet to uh, USB adapter. So I'm gonna try that out for sure and see if that works, but otherwise power's in. Okay, I'm gonna put this thing back upright and we're gonna see uh, how this thing turns on. So it looks like I can rub the power cable. Yeah, there's a hole at the bottom here. I can put it right through there. Then let's plug her in. Into 120 volt. Okay, I just heard a click. And oh, that's a screen. Oh, uh, wait, no, it's not a, oh, is that a screen? No, it's like a LED, kinda like a screen. It's making some symbols here. Okay, that is pretty cool. Now I do feel some airflow. All right, some air is coming out of here now. Yep, there is some suction of air. So it looks like uh, it's gonna be starting up here. That's really cool. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, there is a heat, a uh, hot symbol at the top here because obviously the heat is gonna rise. Okay, I'm gonna get my phone. I'm probably have to use, just like the Avalon Nano 3s, I have to use my phone to connect to this Wi-Fi SSID in order to set up. Let me get my phone. I decided to move to my office here where I edit my videos and such. You guys probably haven't seen this room for a while, but yeah, I decided to move it here because I'm actually gonna be replacing that baseboard heater. Well, I'm just gonna probably just sit it right in front and it's gonna heat my legs underneath this table here, which is gonna be, it's gonna be glorious. My new 4090 computer for gaming. It's gonna be great. Anyways, you guys just saw the decibel reading. It's extremely quiet. Yeah, look at that. And yeah, you can see my temperature right now around this area, 67 Fahrenheit. And then I have a 120 volt power meter here. It's 110 watts right now. Okay, but I haven't hooked up my Bitcoin mining pool or address or anything yet. So I have to use the Canon Avalon uh, app. Okay, Avalon family app, I believe it's called. So I need to add this mini three. So I'm gonna scan new devices. Okay, I haven't hooked up to the Wi-Fi or anything of this yet. Okay, so I think it's just using the app and then uh, it says, uh, please approach your device. Okay, hit search. Oh, fine. Okay, I found it right away. So I'm just gonna click mini three. And it says, please confirm that the machine is about to be connected. Okay, well, yeah, it's on. And hit connect. Okay, okay, now it asked me to set up my Wi-Fi. So let me do that real quick. Okay, it's saving. Okay, Wi-Fi just finished adding. Now I see the device. Oh, it says 40.39 terahash. Okay, so 40.39 terahash at 809 watts. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so it looks like we can connect to it. Just like my other Avalon Nano 3s around my house. Uh, well, actually majority of them off or I gave them away. I can see my other devices on this list. So that's really cool. But now if I click on the Mini 3, okay, it looks like I can see, oh, it's got a... Okay, I think it's on super mode right now. And then there's an eco mode. Ooh, eco mode, let me try that. Is that gonna bring down the power? Let's see, oh yeah, wow. It's gonna bring it down, or 590. Okay, it's still coming down. All right, I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that climb down, but then I'm curious what the hash rate will be. So I'll let that go. Let's just keep looking here. Mining night. What is this, timer, display, okay. You can set a timer for mining. And oh, I can hear, I can hear this thing now. I think it's just, must be rebooting. There's a little bit of fan noise. I think it must be just rebooting right now. But yeah, back to the app, or maybe it's because I hit night, so maybe it turned off. Let me turn it back to heater. Okay, okay, now it turned on. Okay, interesting. Because I selected night, it turned off. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go back to, let's go back to eco. I wanna see what this thing does on eco mode. So there's timer, display. Let's click on display. So there's on or off for the display. Okay, so if I press the power button, it says bye. <laughs> okay. Turn back on, okay, and it turns back on, and it's the time. So, yeah, that's just, okay, I can hit time, or it scrolls the time. I kind of like the static time. And then there's brightness here. Okay, okay, oh, wow, that is, that is bright. Okay, that's too bright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back down. Let's, let's turn it back down. There you go, yeah, that's good. Okay, then uh, custom, what's custom? Oh, I can select an image. Oh, let me put the RPM logo. No freaking way. 
That is so sick. Okay, this is my new favorite miner ever. Okay, that, look at that. Actually, the screen here is to, <laughs> you can put your own logo on this. That's actually amazing. Oh, and stay tuned. I do want to try this Ethernet to uh, USB adapter because I believe there is some latency. Obviously, there's gonna be latency from using Wi-Fi, especially if I'm gonna, I didn't even connect it to my own mining pool yet. So actually, next step, let's see if I can connect to my own Bitcoin Stratum solo pool locally here. Man, that's actually really cool. It's not really detailed. It's like pixel art logo for like a screen. So interesting. Okay, I didn't quite finish showing you guys like the settings here. Uh, there's one last page, settings. Can change the password, the pool config, okay, which we need to do. There's a filter clear. Ah, you can actually clean the filter or it lets you know when to clear the filter. That's pretty cool. Warranty, sync time, alarm record. Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, let me change the pool config here with my solo pool. And here it is, mining management. Okay, so we can put in the pool number one, two, and three. So let me do that now. Okay, I put in my pool information and such. So I believe it is mining now. It says 27.54 terahash on eco mode. So the power consumption there is 525 watts. So that's pretty good. Seriously, I love the RPM logo on there. That's actually hilarious. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely putting out a good amount of heat. But one thing I just want to uh, touch note on is the efficiency. So initially, okay, the Avalon Nano 3 advertised is supposed to do 27 or 37.5 at 800 watts. And so that's a 21.33 watt per hash. Okay, so that pretty much stacks up against like an S19 XP Hydro, uh, maybe, uh, maybe like an S19K Pro or S19 JXP, what's minor M60, but with this eco mode, okay, at 27.54 terahash, at 520 watts, this gives us a 18.8 .8 watt per hash. So that is, I'd say, pretty efficient. That stacks up, I'd say, close to their Canon Avalon A15, okay, which they also just released, so it must be similar chips, I'm assuming, and also maybe stacks up against a Bitmain T21, also maybe the S21 from Bitmain, okay? So pretty close in efficiency regarding these models. Of course, there are newer, like new Bitmain S21 Pros that can do, you know, 14.7, 14.8 watt per hash, so a lot more efficient, but I think the benefit here is that this thing is pretty quiet for what it does. The utility of this thing is to provide heat as well. So for money that, you know, I was gonna spend on, well, actually I never turned this on. My wife though in our bedroom turns this on because she doesn't like the like light fan noises that, you know, these types of miners put out. Now this one though is really, really light. So I don't think it's gonna bother her. So in another video, I'm gonna get her reaction and see if she likes this in the bedroom or not. Okay, so it looks like the terahash has just went up on the eco mode here. We're at 28.67 terahash, now at 537. So let me input those numbers. Okay, looks like the efficiency went up just a little bit more. So I think as this thing is heating up, Chips are getting a little bit hotter because I just turned it on. It looks like it is uh, getting a bit more efficient now. So that's pretty cool for this type of miner. Okay, I wanna try super mode and I'm gonna leave it there, okay? And yeah, I just wanna see this thing go. But actually one thing I wanna try as well is the ethernet, okay? You know what, let me try that in another video. I think this video is long enough. I'm gonna have multiple videos on this thing, but uh, yeah, guys, I think this is pretty cool. My room is now starting to heat up, so we are ramping up in temperature in here, which is great. Power consumption is rising up, but my friends, that's it. It's providing heat for my office here, and I have to say, yeah, this thing, for money that I was gonna spend, or you know, for people that are thinking about buying this, this is a great replacement for your baseboard heater. And actually, if anyone wants this kind of information, so looks like we are at the hottest point is about 70 degrees Celsius, okay? So this thing is, it's getting quite toasty now. We are on super mode, mind you. Okay, I'm probably gonna put it back to eco mode, but yeah, this thing's definitely putting out a good amount of heat now and it shows that we are at uh, 704 watts, not at the 800 as advertised. So I think this thing, let's see here, 
It's on uh, super. Okay, uh, let me change the mining. Okay. All right, now I do hear something. Okay, I do hear the fans change on it. Okay, now this thing shows 925 watts. Okay, that might be the super mode. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts about this if you think this is cool. And yeah, I think the utility of this thing is great for being a heater as well. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, I'll have many affiliated stores linked down below with coupons if you guys are interested in this unit. But otherwise, I will be doing more videos on this, doing some more testing, especially with the ethernet. And uh, yeah, let me know your guys' question down below. I actually wanna do a week-long hash rate giveaway from this thing. So comment down below, just your guys' thoughts and I'll choose the winner after 24 hours. Get your comments in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like as well. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out, peace out. Oh yeah, hash rate's going up now.